Hey guys, do you love Hanahan? Because a lot of people do. It's like a, the go-to place. It, it's with the parks and some of the cool stuff they do here. The local government's really awesome. And they do like concerts and it, it's an area that's loved. But there's not a ton of new construction in, in Hanahan. There's but not. today we've got a solution. Yep, here in Oak Point, which is not really part of Tanner Plantation, but it's towards the back of Tanner Plantation. Yeah, right? Yeah. If we don't know each other, my name is Mark, this is Jeff. We're with the Charleston Area Living Group. And we talk about all things all around Somerville and Charleston and Mount Pleasant and down to Buford almost and all the way up to Santee. So if you want to know anything about those areas, definitely check us out. We would love to talk to you. Yeah, so this is a Stanley Martin neighborhood. We've sold some Stanley Martin homes and uh, we're, we're big fans of the builder. They're doing some nice stuff in here, but this one's interesting because they're doing single family and townhomes in the same neighborhood. It's not a big neighborhood, about 80 units total between the single families and the uh, townhomes, yep. but it backs right up to, it's the reservoir, the right? Goose, Goose Creek Reservoir, yep. And so they're gonna have a, um, a pier for the community to get out to the water here at the Goose Creek Reservoir. Yeah, that'd be really cool. There's also some houses they've already sold. They're gonna be able to put their own piers in on that Goose Creek Reservoir as oh, well. Oh, that'd be nice. Um, so unfortunately those lots are gone, but yeah. there's still about 10 lots that are going to be to be built if you wanna pick your everything. Yep. Um, they also have some nice spec homes going on, both in the townhomes and in the single family. Yeah, group. all the townhomes would be specs. They're designing them, but you still have the ability to build from the ground up or do a spec home here. Let's go inside the model home they have here. I'm gonna show you a couple single families and can we show them a townhouse also? I think we can fit that in. Let's make it happen. All right, Mark Klim, the Hollands, this is the model home they have here. Four bedroom, three bath, two car garage, 2,455 square feet. The primary bedroom is upstairs in this one. So we're gonna find a secondary bedroom downstairs okay excellent and i think it's right off to the left here yeah so look how wide this hallway yeah, is. yeah I, I do like this this hallway Super the nice. entryway yeah so there's a they they're using this as an office in here i have it set up as an office but totally could be a bedroom yes because you've got a full bath right across the way here yeah. and Walking. a reach in reach in okay cool fishing poles yeah nice full bath right here yeah. Big shower head. Make it rain. Obviously this is a model home, so yeah, they there's put gonna all be some upgrades stuff in that it. may not be available or that are designer type things. Oh, I like what they did in here. You know what I like? You, you like them electric the fireplaces. fireplace I wish I had. So good open space. I mean, remember this one is 2,400 and change square feet. So you've got a wide open space here for the living room dining room area into the kitchen. Okay. I mean, this is a six top here, but could be eight. So it gets you an idea of how big this space is. Still four chairs here at the island. They did about a 12 by 12 screened in porch on this one. Okay. Very nice. That's a cool, uh, Hood that they have over the yeah it's the a little different there. isn't it it is it's like squared off instead of rounded so what do we think pantry yes. yep oh good pantry good pantry can we fit a few costco items in there uh it, it part look it's got pirate's booty in there <laughs> that my girls that was one of their favorite snacks what was it yeah pirate's booty oh, i'm sure that was nice to say when <laughs> you want some pirate's booty, yeah, honey? You want some booty honey <laughs> All right, so, oh, nice. Storage. Under uh, stair storage area. Okay. And then through that would be the two car garage that is their office right now. Okay. Nice. All right, let's roll nice. upstairs let's and see the other bedrooms. I do love that fireplace. Mm hmm. They got your wood treads on the steps. I like them wood treads. You know, we can't get them yet because our dog is old. Oh, uh, she and still she goes is, up and down. Yeah, she's trouble getting up and down. So the carpet's the only thing. We right? put carpet on ours because we just wanted to be prepared for Cheetah to run the steps and she's never gone upstairs. Which way are we going? I feel this way. Let's All go right. this way. All right, so primary bedroom, suite over in this side of the house. 
tray ceiling. Good size room. Good size room. King bed's in here right now. And big closet. Oh, wow. That would be your section over there. I, if I get that much, I'd be lucky. <laughs> Not the biggest shower in the world, but definitely big enough. And it's got a bench, so you can shave if your you legs get or whatever. Tired? Are you shaving your legs in the shower? Sometimes. <laughs> God, I pictured that. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. You need help shaving your legs? Good linen closet. All right, let's go see what's on the other side of the house. So it should be two more and a full bath. I'm assuming. So this is the back of the house, right? Here. Yeah. All right, you got a nice laundry room here. Would you put those pictures in your laundry room? I don't need art in the laundry no? room. No? Okay. No. That's real, real treat. <gasps> All right, so we got a spare bedroom here from good size. I think it's got a walk-in closet too. Yeah. Why do they put windows in the closet? I don't know. J just, I mean, look from, from the light, outside. I guess. Maybe the way the front of the house looks. Yeah. And it looks like there's a walk in here too with a Smurf door. Uh oh. A little bit of storage in there too. Bit. Yeah. There you go. All right. Nice house. What was this room? Uh, the bathroom. Oh, the other bathroom. Yeah, full bathroom. Just, just like downstairs. For these two, yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, next one, Jeff, is called the Jefferson. I don't know why you didn't do this one. <laughs> it's I, I, literally got your name I didn't in know it. what it was named until you just said it. <laughs> so this is a two-story home. It looks like a ranch, but it's really a two-story home. It's got the main primary bedroom on the main floor, on the first floor. It's got a nice office on the first floor and a mystery room. We're going to call it the pocket office Yeah, uh, as well. And then uh, upstairs, there's three more bedrooms and two full bathrooms upstairs. As well. I want you to think of other uses for that pocket office during this tour. Okay. All right. So no a little tiny room, but you could do different stuff with it. Yeah, I think so. So I like that there's a big office right here. Mm -hmm. Could be a guest room too. I'm feeling. Yeah. I mean, without the uh, you know without a closet in here, but you could. Yeah, you, know, you put the luggage rack out like it's a, a hotel. You, yeah. yeah. Or you could do a, uh, I mean, just an office with a Murphy bed cut. This room is definitely big enough to have an additional yeah. bed in addition to using it as an office. So you got a half bath there. There'll be mirrors up when this is done, I'm sure. You've got a coat closet there. Laundry room on the main floor, which is, you know, your, your master's down here. So that's good. Love the quartz. This one's available. This is a spec home, actually. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, they got the different color island versus the white on the outside. I like that. The fancy squared off yep. hood. You've got your microwave over your oven. Yep. So almost acting as double oven because mm -hmm. of convection. And here's the pocket office. So yeah, I can see a stand-up desk in here. I could see um, just fill it up with shelves I mean, and have it a big pantry. Cheetah's room. Cheetah's room. Yeah, this is the dog room. The dog room, yep. Absolutely. Still a nice, good pantry yeah. there. So if this is enough space for you, this, I mean, it would be nice to just have a storage room mm -hmm. in air conditioned space. You know what would be good in there? The Roomba. Oh yeah. Yeah. You have them hide in there and then come out whenever you need them. So just a standard two car garage here. And if that wasn't enough storage, there's some more storage for you. Oh yeah. And the, I like how they're using the space underneath the steps. Yes. Yes. No, no sense in not. All right, so this one has your fireplace as well, Jeff. Yeah. I really get jealous of these things. All right? It's already got your TV hooked up there. This is a big space. Yeah, like, it really you, is. You can put a sectional here, and then I guess that would be your eat-in dining room. Yeah, I, I feel like you have to put a, a kitchen table over there yeah. in front of the sliding door. So this is somewhat of a pond lot on this one with a big... Uh, got about a little 12 or 14 square yeah. screened in porch, little retention pond behind you with woods behind it. Yep. All right, let's go into the primary. Is this more storage? Oh, pantry. Yeah. So you have Didn't two you pantry. They put carpet in there. 
Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't just run the yeah. cards in there. All right, so you got carpet in here. Obviously, your bed is going here, maybe, because yeah. you got your cable out there. Yep. Pretty Still... wired for a ceiling fan. Mm -hmm. Four uh, four windows in here. Yeah, a lot of light. So you got the quartz. You got the same size shower that was in the Hollands. Mm -hmm. Not as big of a closet, but still decent. Yep. Big I think enough. that would do one more shelf across the back. Or you could put a piece of furniture back there. Yeah, that's true. Good call. I imagine they'll put when, uh, mirrors up in here, don't you think? Uh, I would think so. That may be the last thing they do. Yeah. All right, let's head upstairs. Got the treads. I like how they didn't do the half wall, they did the spindles. Yeah, it makes it feel more open. So this is a good size room. Yeah, good good game room. Yep. Let the kids play or Movie whatever. Room. All right, so we got three more bedrooms and two bathrooms up here somewhere. Two zones, so you've got AC up and down, so you can keep it separate temperatures. Walk in. Walk in. Hold on, I have a, I have a feeling about this. HVAC? Yes, love it. In air conditioned space, very good. AC in air conditioned space, big deal. This room is pretty big for a secondary. Another walk in closet. It really is. I mean, we've seen a lot of primaries look like that. Got your bathroom there, and then this one has an ensuite. Yeah, that other bedroom is as big as the primary is. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I like it. Yeah, so nice house. Like that the primary is down. Let's go see the townhouse. So Mark, we saw two models of the single families and there's, I think there's three other single family models yes. available in addition to the ones we saw. That's true, yep. And then there's multiple townhouse models available. Um, so so that typically in townhouses, the end units versus the interior units are a little different most of the times. Yep. We've got access to see an interior one now. This is a three bedroom with a fourth big space down here on the first floor. This is a three floor townhouse. Three floor. Three, yes, yes, so exactly getting, what we love to see. Getting in our steps Running today. steps all day. So single car garage. And then I think there was enough space out in the driveway for two cars. Yes, I think so. So this is a, you know, back in Pittsburgh, that we would have called this the family room. It's the, <laughs> it's the, it's the family room downstairs. Yeah. But it can be a, a, a it can be a bedroom, bedroom because this does have a you know, full the, bath. I, on here it said it didn't, but it does have a full bath there. So this would be a fourth bedroom here. Okay, and you got closet space and all that. And then this door up at the front is more closet space. Yeah. So that's your coat closet. So you pick the kids you don't like the most and you put them down here. There you go. Because you're you're two floors away from the other bedroom. Unless they're a runner. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Let me put a leash on them then. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. So this second level is all living space. No bedrooms here. Mm -hmm. So just big living room into dining room into kitchen. Nice porch out here. Good, yeah. Good for this time of year. That's a big section where they put in the back porch. Yeah. So that downstairs would be a great office yes. if, if you work from home. Love that. And then, so this level just has a half bath, but nice kitchen area, mm -hmm. big open space. It looks like a little pantry closet there. Oh, a little different. Yeah. You need to go up one step for the half bath to get to the half bath. Nice. So if you really got to go focus, don't trip. I would probably trip. <laughs> After that Taco Bell visit when you're flying <laughs> towards the bathroom. All right, so all the other bedrooms are up here. Yep. Primary to the left. Okay. Got a closet here. Good size. Yep, one suite here. I like the shower. And I bet this is laundry. 
Is that, did you do, open that already? No. Laundry? Yeah. And then two bedrooms here. Not massive, but big enough. Yeah. This is a townhouse. Right. Reaching closets. Like this has a queen bed in it. Yeah. And then a full bath here with linen closet. So for townhouse, nice layout. Yeah, I like it. Mark, I don't know where you brought me, but it's a pretty cool little place here. Yeah, we're only five minutes away from the neighborhood where we just were in Oak Point. Yeah. And uh, this is part of Tanner Plantation, but it's called Bowen Market. Um, so there's these cool little niche restaurants yep. and, you know, uh, stores and stuff right in here. This one here? Yes. Beer, genius. Beer, wine, coffee, and ice cream. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no, all I can come here place. every day. Just multiple live times here. Day. Just live here. Yeah. And right next to that is uh, Nigel's. Yeah. And they've got, you know, appetizers and low country food and hamburgers and seafood. So it, they've got all kinds of stuff there too. Plus, there's a Domino's pizza like right next door to that. Cheap pizza quick, but across the street right here, there's some really lovely little areas with some swings and tree covered and the pretty lights and the palm trees. Just a nice little area around that neighborhood. Yeah, we had to stop here. Let's go. So Mark, I was paying attention. We're eight minutes away from the neighborhood now. Yes, we've got all this stuff here. Uh, you know, I bet a lot of people don't know what Lowe's Foods is because I never heard of it before. It's I moved where here. you get the plywood and the two by fours. No, and... no, this is not like a Lowe's Home oh, Depot Lowe's thing. Foods, this is a grocery that? store and it's a really nice grocery store. Uh, if you're a coffee fan, they have bean after bean after mm. bean in there that you can then grind here. You can get a glass of wine in there too. You can, yeah. The great sandwiches in their deli. It, it's, uh, it, it's a Harris Teeter level grocery store in my opinion. All right, well, you got Lowe's here. Of course, like Jeff said, under 10 minutes away. You've got your ABC liquor store, just yep. in case you need to get your drink on. You got Famularies, right? Yes, deep dish, baby. Deep dish pizza. Across the street is LG's by the Creek. What's nice that? restaurant. We've been in there a couple times. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite restaurants in Charleston. It gets really busy, um, especially, you know, the weekend nights. It's a I, hot bar. I think I smell here it right so. here. You probably do. That's yeah, probably yeah. them. Or They've two. got a nice little outdoor <laughs> area. I smell you and I, I think you smell like barbecue right Please now. Please don't eat me. No. <laughs> God, you took it to the next level. <laughs> you know, you got your subway over here. There's some Japanese food. So all of this stuff is less than 10 minutes away yeah. from where you would be living in Oak Point. What did you like about it? We did see golf carts cruising around here, by the way, yes. in between these places. So uh, there's some golf cart ability around here. Yeah. I really like this little micro neighborhood mm -hmm. with the townhouses and the single families. There's some great lots left to build on. Stanley Martin, really quality builder. We've like liked them. everything they've done. Yep. Uh, if you want to talk more about that neighborhood or anything else around Charleston, best way to get us is down in the description in the yes. comments no description darn it you had it right what's wrong da with you why did i switch it up down in the description there's a link you can click it drops into our calendar schedules a zoom meeting with us you can schedule an in-person meeting with us in our office and remember two things uh like and subscribe to the channel it is a big help for us you get notified when it comes out and remember that on tuesday nights we're doing lives now every tuesday seven o'clock you can jump on ask us questions and we answer them live yeah we can't wait to see you again till the next time see y'all bye